we can begin doing something about dementia right now and at the same time prevent stroke and prevent heart attacks and prevent other things that share the same risk factors. In, in 2000, Ontario implemented an organized stroke system which basically focuses on improving stroke care in Ontario but also focuses on better controlling cardiovascular risk factors such as hypertension. So we wondered if we have better results for stroke, do we have also better results for dementia? So we looked at what was happening to the incidence of uh, stroke, incidence meaning number of cases per thousand, and also the incidence of dementia. And we found that in the period between 2002 and 2013, the incidence of stroke has been declining steadily, and also that of dementia uh, in the oldest age groups, 80 plus, which is the group at highest risk. The good news here is that the, the older you are, the less the risk. And this is a good news story and the first time that this has been demonstrated at a population level. The brain is a very vascular organ, by this I mean it has a lot of, of blood vessels. And even though it's only 2% of the body weight, it takes 20% of the cardiac output. You know, all the blood, 20% of the blood, it, with each heartbeat goes to the brain and 20% of the glucose and 20% of the oxygen. So you can see that the brain is totally dependent on having a continuous supply of oxygen and glucose. And so if there's something wrong with the circulation to the brain, then you can see that that would affect the whole brain. So by preventing the blood vessel part, which we can do, then we can also prevent some dementias. Some people think that as you get older, it's inevitable you develop dementia. Dementia is not part of normal aging. And you can do something about it. By controlling the risk factors that you know, high blood pressure, unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, and also paying attention to having policies that make it easier for people to have healthy lifestyles.